Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you gain staging in Reaper. Now this will work with any DAW or any software using floating point math. And I don't want to confuse this with recording levels. I created a video called Proper Recording Levels in Reaper. Definitely check out that video for setting your level for recording analog audio into Reaper or your software. But in this video, we're going to discuss gain staging which is what happens after the audio is already in your computer. And you want to avoid distortion while you're mixing. Now there's a few myths going around about gain staging in your DAW. The common misconception is that you need to have the proper level at every point when you're adjusting your gain. Like in this project here, I have a piano track. Let's hear it. The piano right now is on an individual track and it's floating into a bus or a folder in Reaper. So the signal is going from here into this track and finally to a master track or a master two bus. So the conventional wisdom, which is actually quite wrong, is that at every level we want to avoid distortion or overloading. For instance, we have a piano here, it then goes to our plugins on this track, an EQ, a compressor, and another EQ. Then this track is going to this folder or bus with plugins on there as well. Then it's going to the master track or two bus with plugins on there. So again, the myth is that at every stage you want to avoid distortion. So I'm going to show you in this video, that's not really necessary. There's only really one point we need to worry about, but we'll get back to that in a bit. So let's start by clearing all the effects. I'll delete it from the master, from the folder, and from the main track. In fact, let's get rid of the folder. So now we just have the piano track going to our master. And it's gonna sound the same. And it's a pretty conservative level. So let's bring it up a bit. Because I personally like to see bigger waveforms. So let's bring it up just before distortion. That's better. Now let's add a plugin on the track. Let's add an EQ. And now it's boosted a bit too much. We can see it's now distorting right here. Now the conventional wisdom is to bring it down over here, the gain. And that does fix it, but we can fix it further down the line. Let's bring this back up and let's add another plugin called Volume. We'll choose this one here. And now we can adjust for that even after the EQ. So we have the EQ distorting. but we can fix it by bringing it down even afterwards. Let's bring this down a few dB. So even though it's distorting on the way in, we're not hearing the distortion on the track or the master fader. Now to be sure that we're not actually distorting it and just not hearing it, let's do this. Let's go back to the EQ. Let's undo the boost. Let's boost the volume instead. But let's make it pretty loud, like 10 dB. And that should distort. So let's go to the second plugin and bring it down 10 dB. It sounds pretty good. And we can see over here we're distorting by more than 9 dB. In fact, let's make it 100. Let's go back here, boost this by 100. I'm not gonna play it yet. I don't wanna blow my speakers. But then we can bring this down by 100. Let's hear the result.
again, it sounds perfect. And we can see right here, it's overloading almost 100 dB. So we should be hearing distortion, but we're not. Because you could actually fix it at a later point in the signal path, as we did with this plugin. And to be sure that we're not really hearing distortion, let's compare it to the same signal without these effects. So let's go back to our track here. Let's duplicate it. Let's remove the plugins from this track. Put this one out of phase or invert the polarity. So now it should disappear. We're boosting 100 over here, cutting 100 over here, right here. And we're comparing it to this one where we're not doing that. So it sounds like this. But if we mix in the original or the unprocessed file, it disappears. We see no level over here because it completely cancels out. So everything we're doing by boosting and then cutting is having no effect. So we can avoid distortion just by trimming it at a later point. I'll give you another example. Let's get rid of this one. And instead, let's make up for this boost on the actual channel fader. We'll go to the routing. Here's our fader. We'll make it minus 100. And that should do the same thing. So actually distorting on this EQ, but we're making up for it on the fader. Again, we're not hearing it as it's canceling out the unprocessed file. It sounds like this. Totally clean. Even though we're boosting 100 dB and making up for it on the channel fader. Now you're probably thinking that's just for the channel. And that's not true. Let's put this back up to zero. Now again, if I play it now, it's gonna distort a lot. So let's fix it with a bus or a folder. Let's make a new track. Let's make this into a folder. So now this track is going into this track. And now let's put a plugin on that folder. We'll use the volume again. We'll bring it down by 100. And let's check it out. We can see it's distorting on the actual track by 100 dB right here. But again, it sounds perfect. Because it's going to this folder track, and all the folder tracks effects, we're trimming it with this plugin. So even though we're distorting on the actual channel, we're fixing it with the folder or a bus. And we can fix it with the folder volume right here. Go to routing, adjust it, minus 100, and it'll work the same way. It's still distorting by 100 dB on the channel, but it's being fixed by a folder or a bus. Now let's say we didn't fix it there. We can go further down the line at a later point to a master track. In fact, let's take this track and delete it. Let's duplicate this track a few times. So now we have three tracks that are all being boosted by 100 dB, and they're all in this folder. Let's bring the volume down so you don't hear them. But let's take a look at them. See they're all distorting by 100 dB? That should be unusable. But again, we can fix it at the folder level. Let's bring it down to minus 110. Again, it sounds perfect. Now, if we kept the folder at normal volume, let's mute our speakers, the individual tracks are going to overload along with the folder, like this. See, it's all distorting. But again, we can fix it either with the level on the master or doing this really cool trick, which was actually mentioned to me by Kevin Whale and Brandon Heyer. So I want to give them credit for this. So again, we have a track that's fully distorted on the individual tracks, and even on the buses or folders. So we can fix that at one simple point. Just go to the effects on a master track, put a volume plugin on the master track, and just bring it down there. Let's bring it down to 110. 
And again, we're going to see distortion on the way in right here, but it's going to fix itself over here on the way out. The DAW actually fixes the math earlier down the line. See how it's distorted by 108 dB? That's quite a lot. But we fixed it with just one plug-in on the master fader. Check it out. And we still have some headroom to work with over here. So if you're ever in a situation where your master bus is being hit too hard, just go to the master bus effects, put in a plugin like this volume plugin, and bring the level down at that point. Then you don't have to worry about bringing down the individual tracks or the folders or any parallel buses you created. It's one place that completely fixes our gain staging. And it's really the only place you need to worry about the output going to your DA or your digital analog converter, which is your final mix when you're bouncing down or rendering. So just put that plug in on the master fader and adjust it so there's no distortion over here on the output. And that's really the only thing you need to worry about in terms of gain staging in Reaper or any DAW using floating point math. So that's pretty much it. That's gain staging in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.